A common problem among beginners is that during the first few weeks of exercising, they see results and are getting stronger. But after a while, the muscle growth seems to have stagnated and even though they continue working out, they make no significant gains. When this happens, many lose their motivation and think about quitting. To make sure this won't happen to you, we will now talk about the most important strategy to guarantee long-term growth and muscle and strength. It's called the concept of progressive overload and it basically says that in order to force a muscle to continue growing over long periods of time, you have to progressively increase the tension placed on it. Plain and simple, this means you have to get stronger to get bigger. This might seem like basic stuff, but so few people get it. They think that they have to switch up their exercises every few workouts to confuse the muscle or do all kinds of crazy rep schemes. When the truth is that this will have little to no impact on your results. Instead, stick to your routine and focus on getting stronger each workout. Now, how is progressive overload applied correctly? During your first few workouts, you will probably be able to add more weight to the bar each week, but as you get stronger, progress will slow down. This is normal, and at some point or another, you might also hit the plateau. Then you have to come up with a workout plan that enables you to get stronger, even when adding more weight isn't an option. From my experience, I can say the best way of doing this is by increasing the number of reps instead. Let me show you what I mean. Imagine you normally bench press 8 reps of 150 pounds, which is roughly 70 kilos in the next workout. You want to add the smallest possible increment to the weight. In most gyms, this will be a 2 and a half pound plate on each side, so 5 additional pounds in total. Now, because your body isn't used to the higher weight, you will be able to bench press it for about 2 to three repetitions less than the earlier weight. This means your new rep count is now around five to six. This is totally normal and nothing you have to worry about it. Now comes the important part. In the following workout, instead of adding even more weight, you stick to 155 pounds and work on getting your rep count back up to eight again. This process can take more than one workout and usually the stronger you get, the longer it takes to add more weight and then reach your old rep count. Now, if you want to see long-term muscle growth, all you have to do is follow the strategy. Continue alternating between adding weight at one workout and increasing reps in the next. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook to your success, your health and wealth mentor.